Well, hey there, I'm Dr. Kate Henry, Head of Medical Education at Rupa Health. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we bring you the world's leading medical experts to teach you what you need to know about health and wellness. Today, you'll hear from Dr. Sanjay Bodraj, an amazing interventional cardiologist turned functional medicine doctor who's gonna teach you all about heart rate variability. Let's get into it. Heart rate variability is this tool that I love because it's something that you might not even realize you're tracking on a regular basis. I'm kind of a nerd, all right, and I love metrics, right? So right now, I've got all these stupid devices on. I've got this wristband, I've got a ring, I've got my watch. They're all measuring different variables. But the one thing these have in common and that a lot of the health trackers that you can wear have in common is that they calculate something called heart rate variability, right? So you, we all have a heart rate, right? If you're listening to this, you're probably alive and your heart is probably beating, right? So 50 beats a minute, 60 beats a minute, whatever your number is, right? There is a certain cadence, a certain rhythm to your heartbeats. But one of the cool things in cardiology that we follow is the millisecond variability in between each of those heartbeats. So if you have a heartbeat of 60 beats per minute, it's not exactly, you know, metronome, you know, every second you're firing a heartbeat, but there can be these subtle millisecond differences. And that difference is what we call heart rate variability. It gives us insight into your fight or flight system, kind of where your body is from what we call the autonomic nervous system. So you have this part that revs you up and this part that cools you down. So if you're stressed, you will have a lower heart rate variability. If you're relaxed in a rested mode, you have a higher heart rate variability. So as you track these metrics, you want to see your heart rate variability kind of higher and higher instead of lower and lower. And as I track my numbers, something as simple as having an alcoholic drink at nighttime can affect my sleep, but can also affect my heart rate variability. So the cool thing is you're probably already tracking it. You just don't know. And hey, if it's free information, why not use it? So what you can do is in your app, you know, your health app or your whatever that you use, you can actually find it. They'll call it a heart rate availability or stress score. And you can use that then to kind of see where your body is at. And if you know that your heart rate variability is low, that might mean a couple of things. That might mean that you're stressed. That might be that if you're athletically training, you could be overtraining and you might need to have back off a little bit. That might mean that you need a little bit more sleep, but it can be fascinating to monitor such a simple metric that you're already checking and to see how your health is doing as a result of it. So it's a really cool check-in. We hope you enjoyed today's video and please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos on health and wellness and to learn about the cutting edge of root cause medicine.